What's going on guys? So you are about to see an absolutely brand new, never seen before floor plan from the folks over at Brinkley. We are out here at the dealer open house taking a look at their new models, the innovation, what they're doing for the 2025 model year. In front of me, you are looking at an all new Brinkley Model G. This is the 4100. This is a new floor plan. And uh, gosh, I hope you like it. This is a really, really cool thing. You can get it in full body paint which you see over there, which is beautiful. I mean, their full body paint is, man, just look at it. It's absolutely stunning. And what they're doing is really game changing. It's evolutionary. And quite frankly, they're changing a lot about how the industry builds RVs in general. But we're gonna take a look at this Model G 4100. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so instead of going around to the other side, I can actually give you the numbers from right here. Model G 4100, the dry weight is 18,600 pounds. GVWR, 22,500 pounds, has 3,450 pounds worth of dry hitch weight, which means, of course, depending on how you load this up, toys in the back, all of that, that number can fluctuate. 45 feet, 11 inches long, pretty much 46 feet long. Garage length, 12 feet, six inches. Very, very cool. I guess you get a little preview of what the floor plan may look like as well as other series out here. All right, we're gonna hop inside, go for a quick tour of this, see what it's all about. On the way over there, let's look at some suspension and some running gear. Cooper Works tires. We have the Dexter Easy Flex suspension underneath here. Heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, reinforced shackle hangers, all good things. And after visiting the Lippert Frame Factory and seeing how they spec their frame out, very, very confident that you're getting a very solid frame on a Brinkley model. All right, stepping inside. We're gonna start in the garage here real quick so you can see what's going on. And I got my good friend, Josh, here in front of me. How are you guys Josh, doing? Josh, we're doing really, really well. So we are inside of this brand new floor plan. We're absolutely. gonna go ahead and let you kind of give us a quick overview of everything as we walk through. All right, absolutely. Like you said, this is a 12 foot six garage back here. So plenty of room for a golf cart. Uh, two seats side by side, a couple motorcycles, uh, whatever it is you choose to put back here. This does have the collapsible half bath that we do have on a couple of our um, uh, floor plans that are out there already. So we've utilized that in here. Uh, we also have just added, this is a fourth camera prep. Um, we have the rear camera, we have the two side cameras, and we just prepped the garage for a camera if you, in case you want to keep your eyes on your toys while you're going down the road. Um, and then you have washer dryer prep back here as well and then a secondary uh, control panel. So. Okay, working our way into the living room and the kitchen space. Yeah. Sorry, gentlemen. Basically, what we're really excited about this one is it is a Z3100 um, with a garage on the back. So this is a residential rear living coach. A lot of times in toy haulers, you'd have to sacrifice something. You have a kind of a compromised living space or a compromised kitchen. This gives you the best, best of both worlds because this is a traditional rear living room floor plan here. You have a televator here uh, that goes up and down with a 50 inch TV, a huge kitchen island um, with waterfall countertops on both sides. Um, again, your G's, we have appliances that are on all G's, a big pantry um, with adjustable shelves. Love that. Mm -hmm. And real quick, you know, one thing I wanna mention is I've never been a fan of toy haulers. <laughs> and the reason why is the same reason why toy haulers typically aren't fast selling products. It's because most people want a big garage, mm -hmm. but the only way to do it is to compromise in the kitchen and living room. Mm -hmm. That's the big compromise. Absolutely. That's why sometimes you see those huge sofas that span one wall because they're trying to figure out how I can get seating in a space that I've had to shrink down to fit specifically to a garage that's probably 12 to 14 feet long. Absolutely. I love what you've done here. I love the fact that you get that traditional L-shaped rear living room design, which is still probably the best selling floor plan for fifth wheels, mm -hmm. but you've executed it with a phenomenal kitchen. This is absolutely beautiful, what you've been able to do here in the kitchen. And more importantly, it feels spacious. It feels open. It feels great, even so much that you have this really cool four position convertible dining table L-desk even in a toy hauler floor plan and still giving you that rear living room type design. That is awesome. Absolutely, that's why we're really excited about this one. We didn't have this at the, at the Hershey show last uh, week. 
We didn't have enough room for it. We did have it off site about 20 minutes away and the customers that came through it were really, really excited about it. Um, we had an enormous, uh, enormously positive response to this floor plan. So I'm excited about this one. So go over some nuggets. What are some Brinkley nuggets? Because if somebody has never seen a Brinkley before and they just want to see some of the cool, innovative things you all are doing, just go ahead and kind of go through them real quick if you wouldn't mind. So one of the biggest things is our craft sense construction. Um, when you look around here, you don't see a lot of trim. Actually, you don't see any trim at all because uh, trim hides mistakes. You're not going to see a bunch of nail holes filled in with putty. Everything's going to be nice and clean. Um, you are going to see clean window trims. We're not, we don't do the old school traditional balances. Everything has integrated shades. Um, the windows that do open have uh, has day and night shades. Um, so here you have your day shade that comes from the top or from the bottom. And then your night shade comes from the top. And they are insulated on the outside just to kind of keep some of that heat out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we try to have a place for everything. Uh, you know, when we go to, especially speaking towards the Model G, uh, we have knife blocks here, so they're pull-down storage with a magnetic knife block in there. Uh, we also have the same thing for your silverware. So you got a nice silverware tray there. Um, in Model G, all the kitchen uh, shelves and the cabinets are adjustable. Again, we don't know what you're putting where, uh, so we want to make sure that you can put it wherever that you want. You can adjust those sizes, you can take drawers out. Um, just to give you options to use this RV however you'd like to. Yep. One thing I can really appreciate as well is of all the companies that have kind of been trying to emulate your design, especially this waterfall design right here, you typically see it as an afterthought. You see like a piece of, of this, this uh, solid surface material just kind of attached to the bottom. Mm -hmm. But if you look at all the clean lines, how they actually transition, it's beautiful. I mean, you all do things just remarkably different than anybody else. Yep, Even trying, the people trying to well, copy you. Yeah, well, we're trying to set the bar really high and it, it does take a lot of time and it does cost money. Um, but those are investments we're willing to make. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to talk about in here before we move on? No, I think we're good. All right, let's hop up to the front then. Yeah. Coming up here, up in the front, we have your standard Model G bathroom. Nice big shower, pull out linen closet. Um, pull out trash can down there and actually drawers for storage in that bathroom, which is a huge deal. That is probably going to blow you away. Very, very smart use of space and not inexpensive. So folks who watch this video and they, they look up the pricing, they go to a dealership and they're like, why is the Brinkley more expensive than some of the other ones I've looked at? Well, you have to look at where they're spending the money. Because if this were just your typical cabinet door with shelves, well then that's probably hundreds of dollars less to produce than what you see in there. So every little thing that you see added costs money. It adds up. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's a better product for the end user and that's what we're all about. Absolutely. So up here you have your uh, king bed set up. We do offer a queen bed as well. Um, you do have storage underneath your bed. So if you lift this up here, there are drawers underneath it. But again, we want to put storage everywhere for everybody. Um, people are staying extended times in these trailers and we want to, uh, they're bringing a lot of stuff, stuff with them. We've got to have places for them to put it. Uh, you have motion sensors on ne lights next to the bed. Uh, you have your nice big full length wardrobe up here. Um, and it does have a lighted closet rod right there. Uh, and some shelves for some extra storage. And it is prepped for a stick back up there uh with an outlet for you to plug it in you know one thing i like about the brinkley brand in general is that you don't shy away from weight <laughs> um, i know that of course every aspect does have to be evaluated everything mm -hmm. added you do have to factor in is it worth the weight you're adding mm -hmm. but i remember at uh, at one of the rv shows they were very clear like you know we're not so sensitive to weight as a lot of other manufacturers because we know our units are heavier already mm -hmm. and because you know that they're heavy you automatically anticipate that people will take that into consideration with their tow vehicle. And I would, in my opinion, when I looked at the GVWR here, we're at what, 22,500 pounds, yep. a dry weight of 18,000-ish pounds. Mm -hmm. This is dually territory. This oh, is yeah. not single rear wheel truck nope. in any sense. No, nope. this is all dually. And you know, again, when you talked about spending the money, um, to build a unit right, it's gonna be heavy because you wanna be able to make sure it's structurally sound. You want to make sure your frame is structurally sound, your sidewalls, your roof, everything. So doing everything the right way, the pounds do add up. But you know what? There are options for different trucks out there. Um, then customers are usually pretty uh, knowledgeable and, and uh, educated on that so they can make the smart decisions yep. on what to tow this with. And Josh, something you may not 
know is during a video series which you likely probably watched a lot of people did where i was actually spending time with lippert mm -hmm. and i was at their frame factory i cut out a part because i was asked to kind of cut out a part related to some frames that i was videoing uh -huh. at that moment and and we we the people walking through there didn't know specifically what frames were being featured but they were talking about how the frame we were looking at was the strongest frame that they produce and then they come up and they say oh that's a brinkley frame <laughs> and of course we didn't want to just talk about brinkley in that uh -huh. video we didn't want to even really mention any brands specifically but it was cool to see that the frames i was looking at and they were saying yeah this is our, our strongest i-beam this is our strongest setup this is our strongest this it's been specced out with everything yeah. mm -hmm. was a brinkley frame yeah you know what people don't understand a lot is that lippert will build you whatever frame you want to build mm -hmm. So if you design them a frame that's supposed to be lightweight and cheap, they'll build you a lightweight, cheap frame. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want something that's robust, it's engineered correctly, they'll build that for you also. One of the other things that we do, and we're the only ones to do this right now, is we send our frames through the powder coater at Lipper one at a time. Everybody else stacks their frames yep. so you can get gaps or it doesn't get all the way evenly covered. We're the only manufacturer right now sending them through one, one at a time, which does add time and it also adds money, but it's the right way to do it. Yep, absolutely. And just like you say, you're not going to be the lightest fifth wheel out there. You're not going to be the cheapest, too. Nope. If you're looking for a $50,000, $75,000, $800,000 fifth wheel, if that is your budget and you cannot spend more than that, a Brinkley may not be the right fit for mm -hmm. you, right? There are other options that are out there. But if you are ready to elevate to that next level, that's when you shop at Brinkley. Absolutely. And it's the old adage, you know, you get what you pay for. Yep. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, hey, you're just a Brinkley fanboy. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not. Uh -huh. But I see what I see. Mm -hmm. I, I, I go through so many units. I'll admit I'm a fan of Brinkley. I'm a mm -hmm. fan of Riverstone. I'm a fan of some Cedar Creeks. I'm a fan of even some Thor products. I'm a fan of when I go through a manufacturer and I see that they're doing something really well. I'm a fan, honestly, of the brands that sell for $75,000 but give you a tremendous amount of value sure. For what you pay, sure, right? Absolutely. Because there there needs to be those mm -hmm. people need to be able to RV. Some people can afford a twenty thousand dollar unit, and I'm a fan of the manufacturers building a twenty thousand dollar unit a little better than the other ones. Absolutely. Absolutely, so that's what it's all about. Customers need choices. Absolutely. Well, Josh, I really appreciate it. Any final thoughts? Nope, nope. Uh, just come out and see your local Brinkley dealer, and you can see everything they have out there. And we hope to earn your business someday. Perfect. I appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel about what you're seeing, right? Let me know how you feel about what they're doing, how they're doing things, if this is what you'd like. Manufacturers like this feedback. This is how they understand and build to you, a consumer, especially if you're willing to spend your hard-earned money on their product. Guys, drop a comment below. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.